Hello students, I'd like to take you on a little tour of EDU. So once you're logged in, if you're on the news page, this is like our running feed. You can post questions here, you can post answers to other students, you can ask me questions, I'll post announcements, things like that. Then if you click on units, our first unit, unit one intro, click on that, and then you'll see, you not, see some of the assignments and other things for that unit. So I have, a, I have a lot of things packed into this page, actually. The first thing is Unit 1 Objectives. And if you click on that, it opens up a page that looks like this. Click here for the objectives. Wait for it to load. And as you'll see, the first three that we've done so far here are what we've been doing for the last couple days in class. So this is useful because you can look ahead to see what kind of things we'll be doing in this unit. And that's especially helpful if you're working with a tutor or just want to get ahead. Okay, now going back to um, EDU, go back to our unit here. We also have, oh yeah, scroll up, Unit 1 Planner. If you click on that, you're going to see basically my planning book. You're going to see what I plan to do in classwork and for homework for each day of the unit. This is also really helpful for your planning. And it lets you work sometimes in advance if you want to get ahead on the homework or if you want to see when the test is going to be for our, for our unit. Um, every day, depending on what we accomplish, this can change a little bit. But um, let's take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like this. And you can see Wednesday, that was last week. Scrolling down, you can see Thursday. And uh, Tuesday, this is today. You can see the things that we did in class. You can see what I've assigned for homework tonight. And um, you can see what we'll be doing on Wednesday, Thursday. I'm planning on our tests being on Friday. So this is really helpful, I think, for you to plan ahead. And also at the same time, if you're absent, well, actually, if you're absent, I'm going to show you what you should do with that. So let's go back to ED. So if you're absent, you can click on Daily Agendas. And what it's going to do is open up a page within EDU where every day I post an update on what we did in class and what we turned in. So you can see here, scrolling up to Tuesday. So here's Tuesday today. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. We got our Do Now, our Name Toss Community Builder, and all the other things that we did. And also mentioning about what we turned in. We did turn in our lab posters today. We finished them up. And um, so this is really important if you're absent. You can see what we did in class and, importantly, what you should get turned in when you return. So you also see the assignments like Homework 1 Intro Unit. And every night I update that. I add to it. It's kind of like a running tally here. So here you can see the homework that I posted for tonight. Underneath it, you can see the homework that we had for um, the weekend. And when I have you watch videos that I prepare or videos that are on YouTube, I will embed them within this space in EDU. And oftentimes this might tell you to do some other assignment that I've created as a separate assignment in EDU. And it's that separate assignment where you will actually submit the work or prepare the work for paper to be, um, to be turned in in class. Okay, So you should be checking this assignment every night to see what I expect you to do. And oftentimes I won't necessarily say in class what the homework is. It's assumed that you go to EDU and check each night. So now I want to show you some of the things I have for you under Resources. So click on Resources. So you'll see, home, um, you'll see Homework Packets. That's actually, I'll show you that at the end of the week when we turn in our first Homework Packet. But underneath that we have Textbook for Physics. And so here you can see Unit 1 Intro. Um, I have our entire textbook available to you as a PDF, but I've chunked it into units so that when you click on it, it doesn't have so much to download. And so I'm going to pause it and wait for this to download. OK, so here is our textbook. The page is relevant to Unit 1. And um, there is a way that you can obviously download it to computer. You're probably pretty familiar with that. You can hit somewhere in here, um, download. And, um, but you can also save it to your mobile device, a phone or an iPad. And I can show you in class, we can talk about how to do that. That way, it's all already on your device, and you can use it when you are not online, or you, can, you don't have to wait for it to download each time. 
Okay, so I want to show you some other things that we have under resources. So I also have what's called term one planner and term two planner. And this is the long term plan for each term. And that way you can see what kind of units are coming up that we're going to study. It might give you an idea of, you know, if you're going to be having to miss class in the future, what unit that might be um, affecting. So the term planner. And it says here. Okay, so here it is, and you can see that we're now in week two. We're still doing some intro work. We're going to be starting our study of motion possibly this week, but um, more likely uh, next week. After that, we'll have a study of Newton's laws of motion, feeding into our study of momentum and gravity and circular motion. And so um, it's a similar thing for our term two. Okay. Okay, so here we are back. Here we are back at resources. I also list some tutors for physics. And this girl is wonderful, Tori Miller. She's a student at UCSB. Highly recommend her. And as I find out the names of other available tutors, I'll add them here. And uh, what else can I show you? Here's the syllabus if you need to refer back to it. Here are some codes that I use for grading and a rubric for doing lab work. And um, some helpful websites that are listed here. And I often make videos using an app called Edu Creations. And so um, I, usually I'll give you a link if I prepare one. But you can click on that and you can see some of that I have done already for that. Okay? I'll provide you links as I make them. Okay, that's what I want to show you. So ask me in class if you have any questions at all about EDU.